Welcome to the next video in my series of Semantic Backup Exec 2010. Backup Exec is a complete business solution for different sizes. In this tutorial we're going to demonstrate how to configure the server components for Backup Exec. In this video series we'll be using 2010 version of Backup Exec Server. First we will make an environment check prior to the installation. Then we will review the installation options. Next we will show you how to create a domain service account backup exec. Then we will select a database back and forth server. Introduction to the user interface. Let's take a look at the backup exec server 2010. Select the browse application on the DVD. and then backup exec This is an environment check and it will install and detect any issues with your system. It will display on the following screen. This has come up with two warnings. And one of the warnings is antivirus check and endpoint protection manager check. We'll be adding these at a later point. So what we're going to do is go next. And here you can put your license keys in. This screen is where we select all of the additional features and options to include in our backup installation. Please review the available options carefully and read the description to determine whether or not your backup scheme will benefit from any of these features. One feature we highly recommend is the open file option which allows the backup of files are open in use. The next list contains even more features to expand the functionality of the backup exec server. We will select the exchange server agent. And we will also select the oracle agent. And lastly the VM infrastructure. On the following screen we're going to select an installation path for the backup exec. We're going to select it on our B drive. Since C drive has been dedicated to Windows. On this screen we will specify a service account exec will use to run. OK we'll move over to the domain controller. From here we will go to the active directory users and computers management console within the console I have created a organization unit for service accounts select service accounts select new user then we fill out the users information please note the username underscore and prefix with a underscore this is the best practice for service counts next we put our password in then we unselect user must change password and next login we'll select the user cannot change password and the password never expires then you have finished creating new user in active directory domain
move over to the backup server and open the MMC to launch the Microsoft console. Click start, press run, MMC, okay, file, and remove snap in, and scroll down to to local users and groups, add that to snap in, and finish. Okay. Okay, we select groups. And then we select the administrators group. Double click on that. Okay, we go add. We go underscore. Check name. Added the backup exec user to the local admins group. Now we'll go back to the installation, we'll enter the backup exec credentials. And the password. Click next. Then the installer will grant the permission and assign user to the backup exec services. I'm going to create a new instance of MySQL Express. However, you decide to use an existing SQL server, there's an option available. On the following screen, we'll be prompted to select the drivers for use of a tape drive. Use the recommended tape drivers. Click next. Now our final summary screen, and we can review all our installation options selected. Proceeding, click install. Launch the application. To give the quick tour of the user interface. As we browse through the tabs at the top of the window, we can see where to create backup and restore, configure backup devices, manage various media sets, use the backup scheme. All these pieces combined allow you to create and manage a robust backup system for your entire infrastructure. This concludes our installation but the next two videos is configuring